welcome to our fun challenging integral um, series and in this video I'm going to do this integral here okay um, that didn't matter but okay so here um, let's uh, go through this so again um, as with um, almost all of the challenging integrals it's uh, tempting to try and do use up so you might be tempted to write u equals x squared plus 4x plus 6 we'll quickly see in finding du that this isn't precisely what we have there so while you could do something with it you should um, abandon u sub and I'm going to show you a different w uh, way to do this uh, now first um, to make some headway we would want to complete the square in the denominator so we'll do that um, of, cor of course before I do that let me also suggest partial fraction decomposition but note that this denominator is not easily factorable so we'll abandon that and just complete the square on the denominator to see if that will reveal something. So when we complete the square, it's clear that the way you'd complete the square is x squared plus 4x, and then we'd have to write a plus 4, and then we'd write a plus 2. So this being x plus 2 quantity squared plus 2. Nice. That is exactly equal to that. So we would write um, 2 plus x plus 2 quantity squared. And then uh, we still have dx. Got it. Now, um, I am tempted to make a substitution with u, but if I did, again, um, I've mentioned this in other videos, we just get 2 plus u squared. Well, I don't want a 2 plus u squared, I want a 1 plus u squared. So let's get rid of that too. And we can't just get rid of it, obviously. So this is what we could do though. We could write x, and then in the denominator, we could factor out a 2 and write 1 plus, but we have to compensate. And the way we compensate is we write a half there. A half x plus 2 quantity squared. Um, and then now we're good. Uh, because obviously distribute and you get your 2 back right there. And then if you distributed the 2 over here, you'd get 2 times 1 half, therefore getting you that back. Nice. So this is merely a rewriting of this. Clever rewriting, albeit. Um, and of course this is in the denominator so we could write one half an integral and it's x over and it is uh, one I'm going to do something else here also one plus and I'm gonna write x plus two over root two squared I should be pretty clear especially if you watch the last video it should be obvious why I did that so I guess watch the last video or no, like use or learn exponent rules and you'll see why this is fine. This is just a rewriting of all of that. Okay, great. So now this is great because I'm going to say, since all I introduced is a constant here, I knew it wouldn't complicate uh, my derivative when I claim that that is you. That is like leaving this outside doesn't make sense. I should bring it in. So uh, when I say u equals, and you can leave it outside and see why it doesn't make sense. But you, and you can ask me questions and I can explain it further, but I don't want to do it in the video. Um, so u equals x plus 2 over root 2. You know, if, if it's easier for you to see it, you could write as 1 over root 2x plus 2 over root 2. But it's clear if that's u, du is going to be the derivative of this, which I guess is e easier done here, which is obviously 1 over root 2. So, and then dx. So then dx is going to be uh, root 2 du. Got it. Equipped with this, I'm happy and I'm going to move forward. So again, u is that, and then du uh, and dx worked out so that dx is root du. So this, I'm going to then come over here and say this is equal to integral, and it's x, still the 1 half, we've taken that out, over and it's this time 1 plus u squared, how clean, beautiful. And then um, dx is um, root 2 du, so I'll write that. Um, and of course, you can clean this up a little bit, right? Root 2 over 2 uh, integral x over 1 plus u squared du. One issue here, this x here. What do we do about that x there? Oh wait, here. 
since u is equal to that, solve for x there, right? So since u is equal to, oh, maybe too close to the line where I want to write, I'll write here. If, since u is equal to um, x plus 2 over root 2, it appears that 2 root, no, not that, sorry, u times root 2 is equal to x plus 2. And so x is going to equal u times root 2 minus 2. So we could write x as such. And that will, believe it or not, accomplish something. So root 2 over 2. And then we'll get, in place of x, I'm going to write u root 2 minus 2 all over 1 plus u squared du. And this is going to say root 2 over 2. And then it's going to say integral u times root 2 over 1 plus u squared. And then uh, du. I'm just going to split them right now. Minus um, root 2 over 2 integral um, 2 over, and of course the minus was from that, 2 over 1 plus u squared du. How nice. Okay. First, I'm going to bring that root 2 in front and multiply there to get 2 over 2, which is 1. Beautiful. So these two combine to 2. And of course we have divided by 2, so that's just 1. So I simply have u over 1 plus u squared over there, du. And then I have minus, and this 2 and that 2 cancel. So I have minus root 2 integral 1 over 1 plus u squared du. Wonderful, because I know what that is. First of all, we need to do a little bit of u substitution, good old u sub, with, to do the integral there. So um, let's call it a new variable, z substitution, I guess. I've said in the past that nothing special about u, the letter u and calling it u substitution. So z substitution would say, let z equal 1 plus u squared. So dz is going to equal 2u du. So du is going to equal dz over 2u. And therefore we go, this is saying the integral, just this part, right? We need to work on that. So that is gonna say the integral u over, and then one plus u squared is z, and then du is going to be dz, oh no, sorry, I wrote du, dz over two u, okay, nice. So this is just the integral one over z dz, which is natural log of z plus c. We won't worry about this plus c because there's another c from this integral, and we're, we're gonna combine them to just a k, Later, I'm just going to write a constant. But yes, that's right. There are multiple c's, or more than one c. There is, yeah, whatever the grammar is. Um, yeah, there is more than one c that we're going to combine into a constant that we're going to call k. Okay, so that's how little I care about English. No, actually, English is important also. Knowledge is important, period. Okay, so, um, Ellen, not, not that you need my confirmation, but um, the, this is saying ln of 1 plus u squared plus c. Got it. So, um, what are we gonna say? Well, we're gonna say that this this thing is that, right? But um, yes, I've made the substitution from z back, so then we can claim that. So this is ln of uh, one plus u squared, and then I will write plus c one if you'd like. So I won't just automatically get rid of it. And then this is obviously a very recognizable integral, and it's tan inverse. So we've got minus root 2 times tan inverse, tan inverse of u, and then plus another c that, you know, okay, and then plus another c, which we're going to call c2, and we're going to combine the two c's and write that the answer is ln of um, 1 plus u squared minus root 2 tan inverse of u plus k, where k is c1 plus c2. But you get that, that's probably the least confusing thing I have done in this video. Okay, um, now, but I just don't wanted to take care of you in case you were confused. And now finally, like this is the final piece, right? Substituting back for u. So it's obvious that if, since this is u, that u squared is going to be x plus two quantity squared over two. So we reckon that and we write 
natural log of one plus what I just wrote, x um, plus two squared over two uh, minus uh, root two tan inverse of this time just u, you don't have u squared, so x plus two over root two, and then plus k, and that is our final answer. Okay, cool, right? Yeah, I think this is much better than playing Candy Crush or doing a Sudoku puzzle. It's like, it's cool, and you actually like can find area of curves with this and stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, if you, what you really wanted was a mental exercise, this is a great mental exercise, no? Okay, cool, I hope you benefited, and um, yeah, watch more, I'll create more. Take care.